it's your girl, the first composition, and welcome back, beautiful people, to another video. Today we are living with the Englands. I haven't played with these this family in a while. Um, I actually, not too long ago, decided that I'm going to bring back living with the Englands, and uh, I am so glad that I did. A lot of things have changed over the course of a few years. Um, let's start with the house um they are no longer living in the original house that they first started with they're actually living in this house currently and we're just going to you know thank you to ui cheats we're just going to you know we're just going to uh, do all that all that yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boom. Boom. um as you all know but for most of you do not know you do not know in the second episode um it was announced that uh, it was announced that uh the original people uh Dolce and Wayne who were the guardians of they passed away. Um, it was really sudden, and it was kind of a shocker to not only to Graham, but to Vivian. But she really didn't get close with um, with Vivian as much as I, as much as I thought they did. just found out that they're actually brother and sister and not cousins preference oh yeah um i don't even know why i'm looking at this because yeah. but graham is at this point not even doing what he was supposed to do when he first when we first started the series um after the, after uh, Dolce and Lane passed, um, Rand became the man of the house. He was working towards getting a job. Um, he didn't have a relationship with his mom. Um, he just rather would rather chase a man than you know be around her child. So he went to work, and then a lot of things changed. Dolce and Ling ended up giving them this house. And um, this is what they were like. This is what they uh, inherited from their will. For them to live in this home and to pretty much stay together for the thing. But as you can tell, this is definitely where a grandmother and a grandfather was. Your little space for now. Yeah, she's currently a, a young adult. Um, neither one of them have jobs. They feel they feel as though they just they just gotta live in this house and that's it. You know they, they don't have to work or anything. So neither one of them has jobs, but that's all gonna change because in order for them to keep this house, they both have to get jobs. So Vivian and Graham are going to get jobs at this point um, and all that stuff like that. Um, but this is how they live in Graham and Vivian. They're not really speaking like that. They are being cordial, but as you can tell, he 
has his living arrangements. He's living in the big house, and she's living in this raggedy ass guest house. And you know what I mean? Like that's not a that's not nice. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like you get to live in the big house. I got to live in this, you know, this raggedy piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually going to remove that, to be honest. Or just shrink it. And it's a hustle. Well, actually now, no, this Sorry about that. I had to misplace a couple of things. And on top of that, I had to freaking... Um, I was working on a different something else. But yeah. He put her... She was like, you know what I'm saying? So I was going to use her bedroom and I'm not sure. So, he gets this bedroom... And she got to stay in the guest house. Which pretty much sucks because it's nothing that she could do. Because he pretty much thinks that he wants a household. And she has to live. But eventually she might move. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent uh, solution. But eventually she's going to probably move and live a better life than this. Because eventually you're going to get sick and tired of uh, living these arrangements or dealing these arrangements. So what she's going to do, she's going to go over to Grand and they're going to actually discuss um, what to do about the living situation. So let me get it done. Alright, so we're back and we're actually in the process So, this conversation, look, this conversation is going nowhere because, like, the way he's looking at her, it's just like, yo, I let you stay here. Like, bitch, get the fuck on. So, she is gonna, we're gonna end the conversation there because that conversation I knew wasn't gonna go anywhere. But she is going to at least try to make. Uh, some breakfast, so I want to see if she's on it. Um, I really want her to make like regular salad or something, but maybe in the next episode. So I'll, I will see you in the next episode. We're gonna be hopefully we're gonna try to repair this relationship, but in all honesty, it's looking like their relationship is like beyond repairing because she's fed up. Uh, but will she move? You'll never know. But uh, I will see you on the next episode. But until then, you already know. Peace.